Hi, I am Andrea and I am going to present Sparsity Gnostic Debt Completion. To date, accurate debt perception is demanded either to multi-view imaging approaches or active sensors like LiDAR or time of flight ones. Both these sensors provide in output a sparse information. The former generates a point cloud that once projected over the image plane provides depth information only for few image coordinates. The latter usually leverage a sparse emitting pattern to limit power consumption, yielding meaningful depth measurements for only few points in the scene. In real scenarios, additional issues may lead to an even higher sparsity, such as multipath interference, low reflectivity or high reflectivity surfaces, leading to large unobserved regions and to an uneven distribution of sparse points over the image plane. It's worth mentioning finally that each depth sensor usually generates a different specific depth pattern and density. To cope with this sparsity, many techniques mostly relying on deep learning have been proposed in literature. However, even if really effective in the standard use case, they can deal with large variations in the input spatial distribution. Moreover, this behavior also prevents their seamless deployment when using a depth sensor with a pattern different from the one used while training, such as switching from an expensive Velodyne LiDAR sensor to a cheaper one, usually sparser. We propose a novel framework designed to be robust to any sparsity distribution and density by structure, trained in a straightforward way with a fixed pattern or density as previous depth completion proposals. We don't fit the network directly with the sparse depth map. Instead, we iteratively merge those points with multiple depth maps predicted by the network at multiple scales. This behavior is embedded in the scale and place module, the green block. Few convolutional layers predict a dense depth map and per pixel confidence. Then it's applied a weighted linear scaling to match the scene scale and the sparse depth points are applied in place to the densified depth map assigning to them the highest confidence value. The confidence map helps to achieve a better scaling and to locate the sparse reliable measurements in the densified output. Finally, a non-local spatial propagation head is applied to boost performance. With this approach, the network is always fed with dense input. Thus, we can leverage simple and effective convolutional layers, and the network is forced to take into full consideration the RGB frame. But even in the earlier steps, it can estimate up to scale depth, escaping the ill post problem of monocular depth prediction, and thus better generalizing. We train our framework on NYU Depth V2 and Kitty Depth Completion to cover the indoor and outdoor settings, always feeding the same exact density and distribution of our competitors at training time. Then, we test providing in input different densities and patterns. On both domains, our framework is comparable to state-of-the-art, being on the other hand extremely effective and robust when the distribution changes. But this is much clearer from a qualitative point of view, where competitors provide usually not consistent predictions. Thanks for your attention.